Hi there folks, just a short video today on the two Merlin engines in the workshop. Uh, these were recovered from the Baltic Sea off the coast in Sweden and were from Halifax HR871 from the 405 Canadian Squadron, a Pathfinder group. Um, the story is the aircraft was struck by lightning putting out the two inner engines. Uh, so these obviously stopped and the crew decided that they would have to bail out. So the autopilot was engaged and the aircraft was sent to fly out over the sea uh, on the two remaining outer engines. With that in mind it did make me think, well, which of these engines? So I'll have a look and see what story to tell. So this engine, uh, the prop and reduction gear was still attached, but hung on by a thread, which is a clue. And also when looking inside the crankcase, everything looks as it should be. Nothing bends. No major cracks. A lot of corrosion, don't get me wrong, but not many cracks. In fact, most of the cracks are from where the engine mounts were and the supercharger on the back. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I'm sure somebody will shoot me down in the comments, this engine <clears throat> had stopped running. This one had been uh, put out by the lightning strike and was the reason, well, half of the reason, well the crew had to bail out. Most of the damage seems to be Probably, I would say, from hitting the water and the engine being ripped off its mounts and the wing. So this was the reason for ditching, folks. So, engine number two. Uh, this, this being the front at this end. Now this engine I'm going to say was the outer, I don't know on which side of the aircraft but this thing was running. This engine and its mate on the other wing saved the crew and gave them the time to bail out. So how do I know? Well, there's a few clues. If we look inside, I don't know where we will pick things up in here. There is a rather bent connecting rod. Can you see that, folks, right in the middle? And then if we look down in this cylinder, you have to see, folks. There's another extremely bent rod there. And I'd say what happened here, folks, is this engine, it was still running when it hit the water. It took a mouthful of water through the air intake into the carburetor, the supercharger, and ultimately into two of the cylinders. This would have stopped the engine dead. It would have literally split the crankcase in two, shearing off the um, reduction gear and the prop. And then no doubt ripped from its uh, nacelle and its mountings. Quite a story how it, uh, this one saved the day folks, it kept running right till the end, nobody ever thought they'd see this again, and what a story it has, I mean, you can almost, you can almost hear it still, fighting on right to the end.
What a golden gem, folks. Golden gem. Well, folks, just a short one today. Just a, a little bit of a story about the, how to say, the final moments of two Merlin engines before they plunged into the Baltic Sea off the coast of Sweden. One being the cause, one being the saviour, folks. Quite a story. Anyway, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and all that jazz. Catch you on the next one.